What's going on guys, this is Cameron here, back at it again with another video. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell because you don't want to miss anything new coming on this channel. Sorry it's been a while since I've been on here. Just been busy, you know, and I just never really had the motivation to come back. Fish are still doing great. I've done some changes to the fish room. Um, I don't think you've seen any of these changes because the last one was over six months ago. And I was so pumped to keep doing videos and then I just lost it. But um, I'm going to try to come back. I'm not promising a video a week or anything like that. I'm just going to come back and as I get motivation, I'm going to keep pushing. I do have a lot of projects I want to do this year. Um, as you can see right here behind me, I have been working on this slowly. I built a sand for it. It's removable front. It's got a shelf in there. This is going to be a high-tech CO2 setup. Um, 36 gallon bow front aquarium right here. It's doing great. It's changed multiple times probably since y'all saw it last. Um, fish are all doing great. Little algae issues here and there. Um, I've tried jungle bow again. You know, in the past I can never get it to grow. It always dies on me. It's still doing fairly the same thing. Um, not too sure why. Um, pond is still doing great. I actually just did water changes on all the tanks. Um, well, so far I haven't done this one yet. The frog tank, um, I keep that lid on there because of evaporation. It kind of is bowed a little bit. I need to cut it because um, I started noticing it just keeps dropping super, super fast. Um, so I added that lid for temporary right now and I, I need, just need to cut it and make it fit perfectly to make it look actually nice and neat. Um, I haven't done the cleaning on that tank, which is why you saw there's a little bit of algae on there. Uh, I do have a desk now, so I can work on videos, camera equipment, some rocks, and this is a little hint at what's to come. Future, if all goes well, I can get saltwater tank. It would be amazing, because I really want to get into that. I want to see coral. I want to see um, cool other fish like that, and just get into saltwater. I also want to do blackwater escapes. I want to try to do a lot that I haven't done before, which is why. First one right here, the high-tech um, CO2 tank, however you want to call it, high-tech CO2, um, whatever. I'm going to try to go as crazy as possible. I just threw that driftwood in there. I think if you remember right, I had it in the 36 gallon at one point, but now it is in this. It looks fairly good, I think. Let me, sorry about moving y'all around too much, but. Let me get you a little closer look on this. It still has the plastic on here because I've been moving around a lot. Don't want to scratch it. But um, I think it actually looks really good in this tank. It fills it in nicely, but it's still got a lot of swimming room over in this area. And then they can get all behind here to hide. And of course, there'll be plants coming out from the back, I'm hoping. Um, I'm going to get rid of all the, I uh, can't even think, moss that's on here right now. I just left it on there. Um, I want to really use some red colored plants, make it pop, get this back setting section kind of taller, and then probably keep this more of a carpeting. Either do carpeting in the front to the side over here, or just keep that bare little sand um, for the substrate. I want to be using this fluval stratum. I'm going to test it out. Never used it before. Um, we're going to see how it is. If y'all recommend it, let me know. If y'all think it's trash, let me know that as well. But let me open it up for you. So I'm gonna be using the CO2 art um, setup. I got everything in here. The only thing I don't have in here right now is the actual paintball uh, tank that I'm gonna be using for the CO2, but that will sit down in there nicely. I got some of these rocks too that I might try to put in the tank. Not too sure yet, but uh, maybe it's really nice. But if I do these rocks, I'll probably get rid of the wood because it's not going to fit because these are jumbo pieces. Unless I can find smaller pieces of this or I break this into a bunch of pieces. But I have a few of these in there. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I still need to stain this side of it. kind of looks nasty, but all of this held together with magnets. And it's just on the screw heads. It clips in nicely. Same thing over here on the frog tank. Can open it up. Got a shelf in there. Still needs to stay in the inside a little bit, but I got plenty of room if I want to do a canister filter or whatever. 
that's the updates for now. I also want to do, I want to eventually, once summer hits again, or well, spring, move this pond outside, have it back outside again, not a patio, but outdoor pond again, um, and then eventually make it bigger for them, get more fish, more different uh, types and stuff like that. And then in this area, I would do uh, stacking tanks. I have two 10 gallons that I already have, so they're ready. I just need to build a stand for them. So if you are interested in that video or that type of video, a build of a stand, let me know and I can do a video on that. Build a two tier stand, maybe even a three because I do have a five gallon not being used yet either. Could have that going and do different types like that. Um, little beginner setups, help show y'all how the process goes, um, stuff like that. I'm also curious on doing possibly a dry start method with this, but I'm not 100% sure. I might try it just to do some of the carpeting plants and then add the stem plants later or I don't know yet. I really don't. I have no ideas. I don't even know what I'm stocking in it yet. So, but uh, like I said, eventually I'm going to have so many more tanks that I want to do. I want a 75 gallon. That is my dream. By the end of 2021, I want a 75, eh, 75 gallon tank. So let's see if that happens. I'm hoping it happens. That's really my goal. I want that because that will be the biggest tank I've ever had. I could just go screw it. 100 gallon tank, six foot long tank all the way in here. Uh, nah, screw it. I'm going 75. I like the 75 because of the, the distance, the width, the length, and the height. Um, the lights are already going out in here as well. So that one shut off already. This one's dimming down. So it is getting late into the evening. Um, just thought I'd do a little quick video since I haven't done one in so long. I hope you all enjoy this video, guys. If you're in, even gonna watch this video since I've been away for so long, I appreciate all y'all support. I've been getting notifications like constant. Come back, come back, make more videos, make more videos. And I just haven't had the motivation. So I'm back for now. I'm not gonna say I'm 100% back yet, but I really appreciate all y'all watching. Give a thumbs up if you really enjoyed this video. If you want me to come back, make sure you're subscribed. Thumbs up, please thumbs up this video. It's thumbs down it too, who cares? I mean, if you don't like it, whatever. But appreciate y'all, ding that notification bell so you'll be notified when more videos of mine come out. I really appreciate all y'all watching. As always, see y'all on the next one.